Hello, welcome to the pop up. We got La Finiqueta podcast in the building. Your boy TZ Crockett. We about to get right into it, man. What y'all been working on, man? Since I seen you last. All right, so last time y'all seen us, we uh we dropped the project. So check out, you know what I'm saying? C R E M G. Carnal Rule Music Group, you know what I'm saying? Okay. We dropped the awesome. project okay. called The okay. Dirty Tape. That the month. Dirty Tape? Man, it's go, it, it go too. Okay. It okay. goes. So we done been opening up. We opening up, I don't know, Jeffrey. Come in October, and then we going to be doing the uh, the AZ Hip Hop Fest in December. Okay. So we got a lot of stuff lined up. Yeah. Are you mainly focused on, like, opening up for shows right now? At the moment, I mean, we down to cook up something new. We okay. down to shoot videos. We down to okay. network, whatever. But at, for show, sure, definitely down to open up at this okay, moment. Okay. That's that's how I go exposure. Mm. So, like, what's been like the biggest like, achievement right now that you guys have as a group? No lie, no lie. Like, it's between two things. So, having like real turnout at shows where we got people trying to rap by our songs in the crowd. Okay. So it's yeah, like yeah. having that, and then. With the promotions, man, or with the dirty tape, it's out. Hey, dirty tape out now. But uh, shit. Within this month, we got two hundred fifty thousand uh streams Ooh. on Spotify with it. So hey, right now, you know, we we trying, we hey, trying. Hey, on Spotify is that monthly? No, nah, that that's that was for the drop. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, this pretty hey, good. That, hey, 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 listen, on, listen, <laughs> listen. Hey, we'll take our couple thousand okay. per month. But you, listen, it worked for us. I, I thought you were throwing some big numbers at me. I was hey, like, God I, damn. I wish, bro. Nah, you'll get me, there, bro. Let me Call ask up. you, bro, because sure. it, it take a lot to be still like a group in this age, bro. Um, is it is it hard to be like keep that keep that respect, keep that you know Hell trust yeah. and all that? Yeah. Hell yeah, like I mean. To to be real, that's what it is, man. It's yeah. the personalities. Everybody got different personalities, but the main portion is we all we got the common goal and we all trust each other okay. and like you know they look to me to manage and lead so i i got all their best interest at heart and they see that so that's what make it easy just having yeah. that you know especially that tough you gotta like incorporate everybody's idea you feel uh -huh. me man yes me, yes sir yes. so um because we couldn't fit every the whole group in the shot right now you know what i'm saying but i do want to give out a shout out to the to you know the, the people the oh here. yeah so we got we got make it sneak we got don walt we got low budget mansion we got ivan five james you know what i'm saying we and then your boy tz crock and then we got some other people that's ancillary at the moment but they real though they gonna be around fast fast okay so what's what's something that you feel like um is needed for you guys like right now to like pop off like what are you guys slacking in right now that you need more of yeah that online ex that online presence okay. that's the hardest thing yeah i can't you know i i know a lot of people got the the online presence down but necessarily ain't got the news down but they got the music and that's in our case we got the music but the online presence that's yeah, the hardest yeah. part because yeah. it's like having to keep up with a personal account and the business account and then you gotta you gotta constantly check it you on air you gotta make sure you on everybody's stories making exactly. sure you reading it Seeing what they got going because it's hard to keep up with so many people. There's when an you meet them. bro, and if you don't keep up with it, you get thrown out of it. Man, that's that's that, so that's what that's our struggle. Yeah, it's like keeping this presence and keeping it going. Have you guys invested in getting into a, or having a social media person? Yeah, yeah. So we did that. You know, had a couple of them. You know, we paying them here and there. Yeah, they, yeah. they was some cool services, but you know, just. Mm -hmm. Sometimes not having enough content to give them to post for us on the regular. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. building that part. And it comes with also having a camera guy around. That, you know what I mean? For That's sure. what I feel like a lot of places last. I'm a photographer. Let me know. Okay. But, <laughs> hey, we got you there. We got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Let me know. I'll pop up. <laughs> oh, no, but, yeah. Go ahead. All right, good. But I also think that, like, that's what you kind of need. Pictures. You just need to know how to run that social media side, you know? And if you yeah. do that correctly, the views will speak for themselves. That's business. It's dope, you know? That's what everybody sees. They don't care about, they don't give a fuck about money. They care about views. It's the perception. Yep. If that perception look like it's something, they'll right. Because yeah, if you pitch sure. it to somebody, they ain't gonna, they're not going to give a fuck of what it took to make it. They're not going to give a fuck how long it took. Anything. You feel me? They want to see the result. And they want to see. It is. It's a result culture now. It it's is. like, yeah, if you. It. You can talk all you want to talk, but it's like if you ain't got it, when you, you know, if you ain't having it, you, they ain't gonna take you serious. <laughs> yes. You feel me? So, and the social media yeah. gotta speak for you. You know, that's uh -huh. the biggest tool. For sure, for sure. That's what we trying to do. We trying to build that up, make the content look good, crisp. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, Organized. Yeah. yeah, quality versus for quantity, sure. bro. For sure. You know, for sure. That'll speak waves. So, man, we so, definitely gotta get some shit going. So, like, I know that you said you were you working on this, uh, you know, new music, right? Uh -huh. 
so is there any like shows that you guys are you guys got coming out or what also definitely uh i don't know jeffrey at aura not at aura i'm tripping oh that, that hasn't fault, you haven't fault. did that yet no we ain't did that oh, yet okay. that's coming up so uh october 29th at the monarch i don't know jeffrey coming out here we opening up for him okay and then we're gonna be doing the az hip-hop fest in december okay so i, I well, we got our our shows be lit I already know. They be lit. Our shows be lit. We okay. we go we interact with everybody in the crowd. We rapping our shit in your face. We got That's the part like yeah. man. We got because we know don't nobody know our shit yet. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. you don't know it. I'm finna rap so you wanna you wanna wish you knew yeah, that yeah. motherfucker. You make so people feel like they're part of it. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. That's, That's a big part of it. Man, that's I, that's one of the biggest things I say. I say that's what we got most to offer as artists. Yeah. Like the live performances, that's our shit. How, how big is like mental health between the group? Like for you guys, like if somebody's not feeling it and you need everybody to be feeling it on the same page, like what do you guys do to help each other? So, I'll be honest, I gotta be that constant. Okay. Okay. Because okay. it's always a point in time where somebody ain't feeling something. Yeah. Okay. So it's like, all right, look, I feel you. I'm willing to fight over this. So if I'm willing to do it and I sacrifice a whole lot for us to be in this situation in this particular, you know, in this and our situations, because I is a whole lot of stuff I want to do, yeah. too. But yeah, I'm yeah. willing to put that to the side for the guys. Yep. So if I'm willing to do that, y'all got to do that. Right. <laughs> I feel it. For real. And look, bro, our final question. What's something we should know about the group? Hey, we. We want to know all the juice. Hey, yeah. I'm going to get. All right. So look. When I tell you, like, you know how people got, like, a type sound? Yeah. Like, you can tell, like, oh, this is a type artist. They listen to this type beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't that. And so that's one of the things that I know for a fact. Like, if you, when, whenever y'all get a chance to sit down and listen to the Dirty Tape, y'all going to listen to them and be like, damn, I, I can't say y'all sound like a group of many things. So, like, for instance, you know how the Wu-Tang came out, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. They came out. They didn't have no – didn't. You couldn't even tell they was from New York. I mean, you could, but at the same token, it was more so. Well, I mean, we too young for that shit, but yeah, yeah. y'all I get know, the point. I, I seen the movie and heard the uh, oh, show. For sure. Oh, I know. Show oh, for sure. So, you know, they <laughs> yeah. came out. They ain't sound like nobody. They yeah. like, man, what the fuck? They sampling old kung fu, all that shit. So it's, but the shit hard. Uh -huh. Not that we aiming specifically for they sound, but just like no, no, our sound. sound. sound yeah, yeah, our sound is our sound, and we ain't, we don't, we ain't. Y'all heard the booty clapper song that you played yeah, earlier. Yeah. That's the that's the that <laughs> that's the most like when I say we on some trying to go commercial. That's the most commercial we can get. We okay. can't we can't force nothing that ain't that ain't in us just to do it because everybody like it. Right, right, right. And I, that's what I respect about you too. Like, don't force sure. it. Just be yourself, bro. Just be yourself. You feel me? For sure. Well, unfortunately, that's all of our time, bro. Yeah, that's all good, appreciate man. Appreciate you coming through. Nice. This was live Finiquera podcast. Y'all tap the fuck in the Von Rebel show. Hey, Carnival Rule Music Group, your boy TZ Crocodile, while making sneeze, we bought it. Make sure y'all go Let's check go. that out. We out later.